Hello everyone, this is me Nancy. Welcome back to our live tutorials again today. Happy Tuesday. Hope you have a great day today. I'm so excited today we are going to share is kind of a freestyle for you today. I have my contents that I would like to share. Hi, loving nails. Hello, King Kiriko Tanamax. Hey, how are you? Hi, Nelly. Hi, Phillips. Thanks so much, everyone, for tuning in. It's so much fun today. Um, we have the content prepared for you, but however, we we'll decide to like, hey, let do some uh, freestyles. We wanna do something that's fun. In the meantime, if you have any requests, uh, feel free to let us know. So we're gonna do kind of um, back and forth with Springs and St. Patty for all of you who have been requesting because we lately we having really good time doing some theme fun. But then we want, is this going to be for you? So we want to hear from you if you have any of ideas you want to see. So we're going to do that uh, with you. So we are going to go back with liquid and powders now. It's going to be fun. And so let's do something fun and start. In the meantime, if you want something to want to, want to see, just say hello and request it. Hey, and Henry, how are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. I. Hey, Miss Debbie, how are you? Hi, Manny Cave Creations, how are you? It's really nice to have all of you today. Hope everyone have a great Tuesday. We just want to say hello quick before we start with our live video. And um, we're going to announce the winners. It's fun winning theme. We're just having a, so much um a great time sharing live tutorials with you because it is for you and then plus that you got to name them this is gonna be for um last night it was last night's live video so we're gonna announce who the winner who's the winners by the end of the live video so i am so excited i can't wait hello Fung Ho, how are you Thanks so much for tuning in. I like let's do some fun uh, nails. Start with the fun stuff. Hi, hi, beauties. How are you? Thanks so much for tuning in. Hi, Mariso. Hey, let's get going first, and then yeah, I can still enter. Oh, it's clo it's closed, Miss Debbie. But uh, next this coming this this rouse tonight. After we go live videos and you can you can um name it tonight. So because when we start going live videos, they, the team always selects the names already. Hey Magni, thank you so much from Paris. Job is fantastic. Thank you so much. Crazy Claus, hello, thanks so much for tuning in. And thanks everyone for tuning in and support. Uh, it's mean a lot to us for it's kind of a short journeys and a long journeys, but it's fun that we got to do it with you. So thanks to every single of you. And we'd love to have you join every single night except Sunday nights. My probably soon which future you're gonna see me on Sunday night too and say, What? Nancy? So tonight we're gonna do something fun and I am gonna do some theme for uh, spring and we are going to do some liquid and powders. And also, I have so many different content I will share with you every night, but please, please, because I mean, lately we're doing a lot of themes and if you have a request, you want something that you want to see, don't hesitate to comment. And then if we've been done it for so many times, we will, we will guide you to the exactly what videos you can watch. Also, we gonna go route again and do it again. So we have a lot of requests to asking for um, the jade nails. If you haven't seen us doing it jade nails, I will get it for you in a little bit. The green jade nails with the foil. We can do that one again. But let's get um, uh, kick off by doing some is really cool encapsulating for uh, springtime. I think I get this one and somehow it 
it's got something something in there but it, hey it looks stunning like this one right here it's like for fall look at that <gasps> or the heart or whatever it is it is i got it from this collection never underestimate this freaking awesome cute collection that we have it all different variety for you it has so many things it has from springtime new year time to springtime um throughout the years like spring new year spring valentine because you have a heart right here valentine springtime for new years um this is uh new years right here springtime flowers and then uh uh june like four easters uh, you name it and then uh christmas time like they have a lot in here so i'm like showing you because if you have it so don't forget to use it because if you get it from us don't forget to using it because this one is in your collection this is a special mega mix holidays like i think it's so stunning so i would like to share it with you um where is the nails uh the nails right here if you're seeing it this one this one right here we are um showing you again with different marblings and a jade nails like it looks like a jade um stones this one right here we have a lot of people who are asking for this so we're gonna create that again for you okay so then if you are um if you miss it well last time don't worry we are going to um recreate for you so let's get started with the pink ones and i am going to do some kind of a ombre look for this i'm going to using an ombre from chiso nail art and it is uh, number 29 b and it's really nice and light and you can do it a single by itself also you can do it um as the ombres with pink and white or you can do it clear and pink however you would like it um it's so much fun to create a lot of different stunning look and i have my monomer on the side and then my clear powder on the side so you probably can't seeing it under the camera but it's right on my right side so then i can reach it better uh, let's see hope everyone have a great tuesday i just want to say hello i didn't want to uh, not saying hello and um i see every single of you but then it's on the other uh, screen so i just want to get going so then we can learn so much together so monomers on the sides this is going to be great for uh, beginners as well and i'm excited to share this so beginners when you are first starting doing this don't freaking out because this is actually you can really um control it so i have the tips right here you know i'm sorry with you when you're doing with the real client's nails it's so much easier um than do it in the tips uh hopefully instagram can instagram see it yeah can facebook see it just make sure the facebook and instagram so i'm gonna just like after you prep the nails you put primers on you see i wet the nails quick because some of the states are getting you really warm especially down florida is being warm so i am going to pick up some of my clear powders your necessities have to have a lot. I just want some. So then I can uh, kind of lay my flowers on. Why is the brush? Make sure your brush is completely. And then you can pick up your flowers right there. And last night, if you get opportunity to watch uh, Sarah, one of our teammate, uh, Sarah's nail by Sarah Choi. If you are uh, not sure uh, about her uh, account's Instagram handle, or uh, I think on Facebook is um, nail by Sarah. Check her out. Last night she did so stunning design, designer design, whatever it is. It's Gucci design with encapsulating, and also she did ombre. And she put a really freaking cute um the bows on and it's so stunning i watched all entire live video and it's so inspired by uh, sarah so and also today i watched whole entire 
Vicky tutorial and Brad, they were so, so amazing with so many different ideas they can come up with. So if you have, you know, is haven't get chance to follow some of them, um, just don't hesitate to like uh, get connected to them so then you can all be connected together and they were sharing a lot of cool stunning design. I am going to using uh, my collection Blast of Colors. You're going a long way with this. It's freaking stunning. But I'm going to get one of that pink colors, like pink purple, right here. And I'm going to pick up some of my clear and kind of uh, give it a little bit. Uh, where did that, where does it come from? And put a little bit clear so then that's why I can get the little grief from that so then I can pick up my glitter so I just want a little bit so this one is stunning you can do it as a glue glitter or you can do it as um, mix it on your liquid and powder however you would like it I do both of ways or whatever works for you it's stunning great some flower Hope everyone have a great Tuesday. We're so busy as usual. And then now I'm gonna just cap it really thin coat. Completely over. Oh, it's so sunny. How everyone doing today? a great idea for spring coming who knows how is your prom season at your local area it might be coming soon right um, great so now I am going to using a number 29 uh, 24 34 B oh no hold on can you read that again 29 something I'm sorry I just don't want to 29B. So like it's a little bit shimmery pink. I really like it. Sarah will ask me about the numbers of the colors. So I'm going to pick, um, clean my brush, dip into the monomers and pick up my uh, smaller beads. Hey Jessica. Hey Vicky. Hey love. How are you? We're all busy in sharing all different ideas. Um, Vicky is one of my really awesome besties. She's consider as one of my mentor as well uh, without her I wouldn't be here so thank you Vicky for always being on my side supporting me really really amazing more than I can say so this I pick one beat first this is for all beginners who are afraid of to do ombre or who are afraid of to get the blending fading look so I will pick one beat first and then you blend it down first and then you will pick the second beat now you're gonna perfect your cuticles area and uh, then that way you don't have to worry about the fading of your ombre because Sometimes it's hard for you to start playing with the ombre. Then you have to control, like, to make a perfect cuticles area. In the meantime, you have to make a perfect, like, ombre fading. So it can be overwhelming and can't be, like, but uh, clients love the ombre look right now. And they're so demanding. And mostly, like, I have to say, you know, six, seven out of ten, they come into the salon, they want any sort of ombre. So... This is ombre. I uh, got to know a lot of different salon. Some of the salon chalks like uh, extra for the service of ombre. If you want more, you can add it more uh, from between $15, $20 per set versus $5 per nails. Our salon's um, service fee is $15 when you're doing all 10 nails, but if you do one nails ombre, it's $5. So it's really depend, and that's it's just solid ombre, it's not including encapsulating or any anything else. So just for your uh, information. But if you are at just salons and given location, you have a different price, um, then it probably might be very. So I am going to using uh, pick up my uh, clear. If you're happy with this, I using my um, I'm picking up some clear beads, which is like the beads 
smaller beads and I'll just cap right between the pink and the clear ombre so that's why when I shape them and buff them they won't not uh, looks like a two line like pink or clear so great so I am not gonna just mess up with that it looks so great I'll let it dry looks so freaking stunning I don't know how your end but my end is really really cool though do you do you sell that color pink uh Lynette uh, I don't but in if you are in a local distributor the local distributor who's carrying chisel uh, you can't if you are not sure and if you can't find it uh, over in your local area you can always DM us and we can send you the referral from some of the distributors that we know they carry chisel for you this this color is a bomb I love that and a lot of my clients love it and it's perfect for spring it's so soft it's go with every every skin tone and so that is one thing I like about it somehow I get a little uh, foil in there so that's now I let it um, sit for a little bit and let it set and then let move on to a different look of the nails I'm gonna want to show you something is really cool and quick too um, just for your information okay and this one I would get I would want to get the silver one I want a silver it's okay let me see um let me do one of this in let me do one of this i really want to do one of this i always wanted to doing it this one encapsulate this green kind of a mermaid green with pink with this pink i'm showing with this pink um and all of this uh, really techniques we work together in a class and uh, mastery class and at the end of this month I am so freaking excited pick my uh, just a little bit clear I don't want to pick too much clear as it's gonna make it too thick and basically this one you don't have to scripting it just like like it looks like I am doing a techniques of like a painting or gel polish or nail polish it sounds funny to all of you but I do not want them to be is to be true thick as I just need a really thin base so then I can't pick up my uh, glitter oh my goodness I'm so obsessed with today I got to do quite a few set of crystals so this is really awesome uh, fun to doing it with Ooh, so beautiful I don't know I just get so obsessed with the really sparkly glitter and and then you can just dab it in I like it like this either way okay you can mix it with clear powder or you can mix it right in a similar colors or custom mix in custom set for your clients however I love to play them nice like this because you know what because I can able to control them better I can lay them flat so when it flat it get the most sparkle and um, and reflections uh, but everybody have a different you know way to do uh, ombre encapsulate so you're gonna find the way you like the most and you stay with that I sometimes I do all different way I do with the clear I do with mix it with the colors however you would like okay just some of my ideas that I can think of like a do whole nails it looks stunning so after I, you know, just dab all that glitters on, I'm gonna pick up my uh, clear bead, just thin one, cause you don't want to be too thick. Um, just want it thin to cap this. Sometimes my clients say, Nancy, don't put cap on, it just change that the look. It might though, I don't know, but I don't think so. It just look like dull like this for just the moments when we capped it. But when we put the top coat on, it looks so nice and shiny again. But then the client said, Nancy, you don't put it on, but then it's going to come off if you don't coat it. So we have to cap it, okay? All right, so let it set. The reason is I like to do a clear first. Anybody have a different way? Some just put the clear uh, ping on it, but some not. So 
I like to put um, the clears on it so when I blend my pinks it looks nice and like a smooth slicky so I'm gonna pick the smaller beads of the pink powders and place them right in where the all the glitter finish and lay my brush flat and blend it out this is a perfect I would like to share this way for um, beginners this you will never go wrong with this deep in the monomers and pick up the second beads and this beads you're gonna go closer to the cuticles and then you're gonna blend it you're doing it really close to the cuticles That looks good. Pick it one more. Hope everyone have a great Tuesday. Just blend it right here. So do not afraid of, so then you, here's for all the beginner. It's great when you control the products. And when you see somewhere that you need to like to edit on, do not afraid of um, to do that. And take your time and practice. Do not get frustrated like, you know, why it's not perfect yet. Um, me, myself, I practice a lot. I really enjoying it, passionate about it. And I'm just like, just take it easy and practice that. I feel like I can do a um, unicorn crystal on this one. But we did it last. Oh, hey, we can do the we can do the um, the flower on this. Yeah, do you want to see the flowers on this ombre, or you want crystal placement? And now, so I am uh, finished with that. I'm happy with the ombre looks. I'm gonna using a, the uh, smaller beads of clear. I'm gonna cap it right here to where between the pink and my encapsulating. So the pink is gonna stay nice. Always guide your powder toward the center so they stay nice and slender. And great, so I'm not gonna mess up with that. I'm gonna. Let it set. Stunning. Hey, where is hey Miss Corina? How are you? Hi, sir. Hi, Miss Shannon. Hey, Miss Corina, how are you? All right. I just so. I can eat this color though. Okay. Take that color away. Um, we have to look of the, what else you wanna see in it? You want to see, before I move on to my jade nails. <laughs> Someone wanna, no, Flower. Oh, okay. We're gonna do the flowers, 3D flowers, chrome. Okay, let's do some chrome then. Uh, let me do one of this colors. 
and I put the newest comb. So many people asking for the one I have it on my nails. This is right here, everyone. It will be launching on the website for you to purchase this later tonight. Uh, team working so hard to get it all everything but what you request. Uh, we just I'm wearing it because the sneak peeks that they are working on it, but I can't wait. So let me do that once. Let do another. Um, now, so go and put the comb in there. Bear with me. Again, clear. This is a great for beginners. Uh, it's so easy to achieve. This looks, and I am going to pick right here, right into my. Oh, this one is so stunning. I can live with this. The reason it is because I'm gonna using. You got the winning treasure box. Did you do the? Did you show it off, Miss Corina? Congratulations, Miss Corina. She's winning um, one of the followers. You when you're doing a share and I think a giveaway, twenty thousand giveaway. Oh, congratulations! I'm so. I hope you enjoying it and you like it. So uh, it's coming. It thirty thousand uh, followers coming. With your love and your support, spread the words for your friends. If you have your friends that are looking for it, you know, it's really nice tutorials brought to you by us. Tag your friends. Tag one of your bestie who is a nail technician in your, um, you know, industry and in different states that they couldn't even, like, you know, uh, get ideas, all different uh, techniques. Tag them in so then they can all learn it. So I am cap this one completely so then I can do the can I get the pink one again I think I want the pink pink colors the number 20 29 the 29 B I think 29B. B is the glitter one please thank you okay. open it for me oh for real oh when did you open it? I miss it. I must be so freaking crazy busy though. Nancy, I love hearing the passion in the voice. Thank you so much, Inamax. <laughs> I've uh I love it. It's just um it's just one of the story back for um story, you know, it's like I would never like able to have time to share with all of you. But here's a story deep from my heart. It happened to me is 20 years ago when I still same techniques for beginners right here and pick up another pink and because I want to do the chrome on the top. I was in college and then I uh, went to beauty school the same time so I can get my license. And then the salons that I used to work long time ago they would not teach me or show me anything because they, I don't know why, but hey, it doesn't matter. But they will book appointments or they book any special design. Like back then, 20 years, what else in the world? It's only airbrush back then, and then it's just like French, right? So, but they would not show me the techniques of French. And anyway, here's a college girl and try to being a good, build a customer and then just work part-time what I call it part-time but actually it's full time you work from noon to eight o'clock so like basically like eight hours you know um, you don't want to shame with me so I'm basically it's like self-taught and then I have to do a lot of Google and learning and I'm start seeing if I can able to take any Twitch shows and everything they basically like manipulating so you don't learn anything first of all so then you don't make more money I guess I don't know who else who thinks uh, who's know about what they're thinking right and um, that's really sad because I don't get to learn anything but so now seeing I get uh, to be really like unleash my potentials you know and uh, done my college I opened my business and I learned over from so many different mentors I love to learn so now I get to share with all of you you know hey life too short you know you only have one life to live you get and you get more if you give back so 
I love it. And thank you for every single of you to tuning in. And me and on behalf of the team is really appreciate every single of you for the love and support. Uh, you know, it's just me. I got to being here on the platform of Glitz. I'm putting a clears on this. And but a lot of people behind the scene in the office, shippings and everything, they don't get to be here. But on behalf of the team, thank you so much. Like Vicky, if you are uh, not connecting to her, Vicky Jensen, she's one of my best team, my good friends, my mentor, you name it. Um, she's my really awesome mentor, one of the good mentors that's always be on my side. As I say, I wouldn't be here without her. And um, that's why we are impassionate about sharing. And you know, it's not only we showing the products, but also we want you to be able to do exactly what you know you can do and achieve it the best of you can do. Great. Okay. So it looks so stunning. I did it with the, with the like I call the mermaid. But also, I did it with the pink, like purple. So if you have a blast of colors, a tray right here, this is everything. You can make so much design with your clients. You will fulfill every single thing they ask. Like the clients, my clients are so um, fancy and they are so bougie. They're like, what do you have next, Nancy? What news? So I always have to like hunting a new things. I'm gonna let it set for about a few minutes and let it dry. And uh, so, hold on. Do you want to see the um, the jet nails before I'm firing above the nails? Here you go. Do a jet nails. Jet nails. You need a clear powders. And then I need the. Here's the jet nails. You can do. This is, let me open um, OM50B. I will go with really um, dark green. Okay, let me move this because I'm gonna, it's probably gonna spill this in no time. Can you get that away from me, please? Thank you. Thank you. Right there. Courtney. Hey, oh, Vicky, thank you, Vicky. We'll post it in there. Vicky said, anyone would like to order product when you're seeing it here, anything on Glitz Assistant and such, 15% off when you're using code Vicky J B I C K I J to receive 15% off. Save you like a few cup of coffees, and then you got all different choices for your clients, right? I feel like this. Um, all of, all, all of the nail techs, I feel like, you know, it's feel like, imagine it, you were going to, um, in battle to fight, you know, right, in the field, and then you have a good, good tool, which is good weapon, which is all the, your nail art tool, which is we show you how to using them, like, wisely, all different techniques, you can really pretty much have a likely high chance to win a lot of other salons who is stay in the same box and not get out of the box. But you will need to do that. You will win. So, okay. I am going to using this one and clear. It's my clear. So pick up my monomer. And I have some gold here, but maybe I should get some gold. I have kind of a rusty gold foil that the collection foil is 12 different colors. Um, so I'm going to dip it in the clear first. And, and I am going to pick the clear. So remember, I did it show you ratios of 7 and 3. Pick the smaller one. And just lay them there. Give it a little sure. And then now you're gonna blend it. So then it will not look lumpy, so you can do another source there. Pick up the beads of your clear. If you're on first beginners, do not heritage, just like pick smaller ones. 
and then you can sort it. You don't have to do a bigger one. And you will never go wrong with this. I love doing this. It's so stunning. Everyone, if you are, if you are afraid to do this, you try it. I promise you will never go wrong with this. You will do fun with this. Carolyn, ah, uh, is a OM, OM 50B. Carolyn, OM 50B from Chizo Nail Art, okay? Is anyone curious about this? And if you get the smaller bits, you will never go wrong with this. You can do so many different sorts if you want to. I will not try to make a mess too much. I think I'm happy with this. I'm just add a couple more. That's it. One more. Because I'm using clear with this, so it's gonna look so stunning. But if you want to do a lighter green and you're doing a darker green, you can also. This kind of a cheek looks. So however, and then remember, every time you do this, they are not coming out exactly 100%. So just um, if the clients do all 10 nails, just advise them. They are not going to come out the same. But also, it's going to look so stunning though. This time, I am going to do a little bit different. Every time I'm using, um, I believe, I, every time I'm using the gold, but this time I'm going to using kind of a rusty gold, or whatever you call this one. I don't know how to call this, but it looks so stunning to me and it draw my attention. So I am taking this one with me. Thank you, Vicky. So if you want to, it looks stunning though. It looks like an antique, um, like a jade. So however you want to place this, you want to place smaller. And last time I did one and I did one with glitter, like a blast of colors. And I did it with the gold. I like this one a lot. Uh, can I get some more please? Can I get some more, please? You want more go? You put more? There's one right there. I have, you need to um, help me cut that too. Rip it off. So I'm just really meticulous. And do more. Just like feeling like a piece of it. Oh, in my end. It looks so freaking stunning. If you use four gel, do you have to keep first my melt into the gel when I try it? This one? If you do a four gel, if you don't want this, um, nails by Annette, if you don't want this, I can't deny. Bye, bye, B nails. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Joy. Um, thank you so much, Humd. Tinamics, thank you so much. <laughs> I pick up my combs powder and runs like through it to give nice shine. Yeah, that's a good idea, though. You can do a chromes as Tinamics was saying it. You can do the chromes. Um, if you use a foils on, you have to key it first. So you you have to finish whole and tie the nails, and then you're gonna draw. You're gonna probably draw that uh, chamfer foil gel using a chamfer foil gel, like the same what I did the vents when I did fusioning. If you get um, if you uh got to watch some of that video that I did, so then you gonna uh, using your chamfer foil gels and uh 
key at first and then you're gonna add the chan for foil and the gold chan for foil uh, and then that's it that's the same thing with this this is like we have so many different looks that you all can achieve so if I'm happy with this I think I'm good and then I am going to cap this with my clear powders right here Jade is a lucky and then let it run down clean my brush tap it and let it run down They look so stunning. I think I do like this gold better because it so looks really deep and it looks so much dimensional there. But what do you think? Great. And I'm gonna let it set first and I'm gonna buff the other two nails and then we can do some crystal or whatever we wanna do. Great. Great. All right, everyone, let me close this one first and then we're gonna buff this. Uh, close that one. This is color OM50B. I think for just for your information, if you're using a Chizo nail art, also it's amazing. The Chizo nail arts company will sponsor for our nail mastery class. You are getting the uh, master pass. You get all that design. Let me move this one first. So we we'll get it off from our way. Now I can answer the questions. Oh my God! Bye, Miss Tina Max. Good night. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Hey, good night. I'm gonna shape it right on the side here. I'm just doing it out here so you won't get dust on the front of the camera. These are two looks. <laughs> Can you see? Uh, um, Instagram, I'm so sorry, Instagram has crashed so. Hello Instagram, sorry. I have no idea why it's crash. It just like strike on us. <laughs> the other one? Hello, thank you so much for tuning back in. Hello, hi Vicky. Hi Spamolix. Hello, Labras. Getty, hi Nuna, hi Unix Layla, Lash City, Joey, Josie. Thank you so much for tuning in. I can't wait to share with everyone the techniques are uh, so super easy ombre, both and really fast easy ombre also liquid and powder dipping powder Vicky Chang uh, lately she did so stunning different ombre and Sarah last night today Brad killing it as well 
Design by Brat. He did really nice um, designs. Diamond Dust Pixie. Uh, neon Pigment. That is so stunning. If you haven't get chance, his uh, Instagram is Design by Brat. And he did really stunning the. Um, no, not yet. He's, he's not dry yet. Uh, design, he did really stunning of black nails with neon, uh, with Viva Gel and neon pigment. It's so freaking stunning. It was, I'm watching all that live videos and I said, wow. So. Do both gels and acrylics. That'd be USA. Beauty by Desiree. Hello, sweetie. How are you? Great. Oh, stunning. Wrap it all. Somehow, all my flower and my butterflies just to flying everywhere here. So now. Take all the dust. All my nails. Hello, fans. How are you? Thank you so much, sweetie. Today we did good with my four nails acrylics. Really nice, simple, and stunning. Using it's just all the products you got it from Glitz Accessory and stuff. We just want to share with you so then you get to knows all different ways you already have some good ways we'll so just add it more great so let's do um, some crystal placement on this four guys like this one is so stunning though like let's do this one first because it's not we're not gonna add anything on it uh, hi Mirandy how are you Andrea how are you uh, top coat no wipe top coat so stunning yeah I'm keep it flat so then everyone can see it before I put in the lamp somehow my lamp is so dark today though let me, let me clear this one Thank you, Mirandi. And then we're gonna do a chromes on that one. And I am gonna using a newest one. You will seeing it coming. Um, and let's do this one because you're asking for this one. This one I'll finish. <gasps> Every time is different look of the jade. So it really depends on There you go. That I know I love this Vicky. So on this one I am gonna using a no wipe top coat. I just polish this. Somehow my live video is just really dark. No, it's just because that's light right in front of your face. Okay. Let's see? Does so that matter? Side. Okay, good. We're good. Top coat and this one wanna keep for about 15 seconds. Oh my goodness, this looks so gorgeous. It looks so nice by itself though. I don't know if I wanna do some chromes on it, but I will do it. Anyway, and this one, we're gonna do some crystal placement. I have the, 
an idea for this crystal placement. Just one on one at a time? No, si 15 seconds. I think it's good now. Just give it to me now. Yeah. Let me test that. If you have a sponge, I think it's good too. I just want just a little bit, okay? I don't want too much because then it might be, because this one is so pigmented, this comb is so stunning. And this will be a viable tonight for all of you who love this stunning comb. Is that, it's the same with my nails though. Just, um, I just use this little bit and let it fading look down. Do you want something else? Do you want some um, like crystal placement in here? I'm asking for all of you. For all of you who are watching it, this is now for you. I won't do it with that if it's for you. Yeah, this is on my nails. Yeah, you will be in Orlando. You should able to uh, get that too, Miss Debbie. You wanna be in Orlando? That's be awesome. Great. So you want me to do something on this one? I just plan it by itself. This chrome's number one twenty-seven. I think it will be available tonight. This, that's what I have it on my two weeks, and it's still there. So cool. Yes, crystal. Okay. Let's do some crystal on all of them. Let's do crystal on all of them. Oh, this one, I really like it too. Let's do that. Uh, I love to bling things out. Let's do crystal on this one. I need to condense blue gels. Thank you. Condensed glue gels. If you are having a hard time to keep your crystal stay on one place, you should check this guys out. This been really, um, really nice to me. Um, really, we're talking about the. Should we keep this on a three D flowers? You want to see three D flowers on this one? We can do three D on this one. We can do 3D on that one. Save that one. Let's do some flowers on this. Condensed glue gels. Blend them nicely. This nail is so nice. This one like is so pelt colors, you know, perfect for springtime. And if you're first time using our condensed glue gel, it's just normal to feel really thick density. And <coughs> you just need to blend it. So then it stay nice and blend it with the nails. And no wipe top coat on the top of condensed glue gel. I haven't cured my condensed glue gel yet. So that way you can't, when you place your crystals on, they're gonna stay nice. And um, the condensed glue gels and no white top coat will grab and cover sucks the crystal charm chains in one place. Somehow I get that one. My dragon scale will stay on that one. I just want to do a little bit here. I don't want to cover like dramatics uh, flowers underneath. You can see that is really stunning. I didn't really want to. Um, my covers all of them so I'm gonna make it really uh, easy with that 
because all else is going to ru ruin this whole entire the concept that we're sharing with um, again I get a lot of uh, chains uh, the charms no the frames right here so I'm going to pause in my other tray can you see me picking it then This I'm using, I believe, is Mercury mix bag. If you have one of these mix bag, it's stunning and has so many different cool elements. I got um, quite several of them, and then in a different time that I order, I get my. Then it different. Um, it's kind of a different. It's like a main element in there, but it's kind of a difference of all different um, additional elements in there. So stunning and they're so nice oh my goodness oh you will never get too many crystal and charms and everything hold on i just got one more piece that i want that's all oh right here i found it just that just that little piece that i wanted That's it. And I want the beads. Hold on. Oh, there's a lot of things in here. Still so many that I have in here. I already think for us for the next um content. So good my beads hello Instagram thank you so much for tuning in uh, really enjoy it every night to get to do a live tutorial to share with everyone okay I do three of them That's it. I really be honest, I don't want to do more than this. I can't because you know me, I will never settle for less. <laughs> I was like, do a lot more. But because there's so stunning pink, I do not want to take it away. So I'm gonna stop right here. I have to say bye bye. I'm not gonna try to make a mess on this. All right, in the lamp for about 60 seconds. It looks stunning though. Because I wanna get a space so then you can still see the flowers underneath if you're seeing it, right? So, oh, that's good. Okay, just make sure. And then also, when you tell the clients when doing the nails, when they key it, make sure. Oh, gosh, they're messing up. Make sure you're adjusting them and don't let them look crooked because and or else it's going to look so funny. They have to take it out. Okay. Done with that one. And let's move to this one. Should I do this one? Or should I do other color? Oh. I think I want some of... um either uh, Bahamas you got me some Bahamas there or this this is so stunning I want to work with this Bahamas and that can you go get that or not? okay I'm gonna work with that on this nails so in the meantime we're waiting do you want to wait for me to do precision glue or you want me to go right into the other one I'm gonna answer the questions hey creepy claws Spa Malik, thank you so much. Jordan. Hey, how are you? That's your digits. How are you, sweetie? Did you? Oh, yeah. Right, right. Did you using these colors, Vicky? You using these colors? 
somehow I view on a different view and feel like crooked. Okay. Uh, crispy claw. You can't um, get all the products, all the crystal forms, our official website. Link in the bio. Uh, thank you so much, Vicky. Vicky sent you that link. And also, she will send you the code for you to um, shop online. You will save 15% off when you're using. So, if you are first time using this precision glue, it's here in cool tip and trick. I'm using the needles and I am going to just check around the edges of this. When I see it's really scratchy right here, that's great because then I know exactly where I need to squeeze a little bit of my precision glue. It's the first time you're using it. Don't need to float it a lot because you don't want them to float it all your crystals. Um, I'm gonna check it and I'm gonna squeeze it out when I needed it. I think I'm got it good. Check it, you see on the edges of the bars right here, sometimes it's scratching, you know, like on the client's hair or their clothes. So I would uh, really seal that well for the client's uh, crystals. So great, I'm, I am going to keep it for 60 seconds and this now are completely done. Yeah, nailed it, nailed it, sweetie. You can get it using code Vicky J. V I C K I J to save fifteen percent off on most products, and then when you shop it online, glitz accessory and such. Vicky, just give you. Uh, North Carolina, where is close to North Carolina? We are gonna be in Orlando, and then we're gonna be in Michigan, and what else? that we are we are going to a uh, nail tech event smokies in gatlinburg so that close to you um in yes in tennessee bitch nation thanks so much for tuning in sweetie hey da, hello you are very welcome loving me so that nails are completely done when it's done when i look it all over and then now let's go into this let's dive right into this one stunning like if you do this you can't um so cool stunning if you're using this one you can draw uh because i did it last week i did the um, unicorn nails can i grab the unicorn nails please you can dress it up like unicorn as well it's so stunning but i'm going to right into this one um i can't wait tomorrow we're going to share a lot of new unicorn chromes chrome is amazing oh this one if you can you can dress this one like unicorn too but we did this one last time, so if everyone missed it, <laughs> thank you so much. And this one, I did two of them. Oh, I did three. This one's stunning. This one, I'm using a 4D gel to create this. This is perfect for whoever a uh, beginner like me. Sometimes I find myself it's hard to do a liquid gun powder. I can use a 4D gel. It's just so freaking easy to mold this. And also, this one, a liquid gun powder. And then she's uh, a little bit bougie. She's getting her, like you know like makeup and ready to go out for nice and this one is like working in the morning so mornings unicorns and night unicorns so i know i love the unicorn too vicky yep she's bougie she got all that sparkle on her eyes and stuff like that but during the daytime she's like really like really um elegant so we can do that again, you know, and again, and let me design some really stunning, cool look for this one. Let's. Oh, hold on. I found this one. Oh, I want this. I got this from one of a mix bag right there. I just got it from my mix bag, the Mercury. Mercury mix bag. All right. Uh, condensed glue gels again uh, 
do not afraid of to blend it out and the first time you're using our condensed glue gel it might be a little bit thick density which is great because it's supposed to do that uh, so then it can grab your flat back 3d charm chain stay in one place and I am going to using a no web top coat and floating on the top of uncure condensed glue gels Right there, I found it. My stunning bar. Let me read the comments. I'm like one part of it fun. This is stunning though. like that can I have the the pink ruby rose or the pink I'm going to the transition names of like ombre backward so I have an idea to share with you Oh my goodness, I guess that's a great idea. Look at this. I got you. This is so stunning. I'm trying to doing it like you can see that it's like a opposite of um, the background. I love to working with all those uh, bars and green. They might be this one might be a little bit bigger. I think I got a little bit bigger one. So no biggie if you feel like the bigger ones, you just need to take that one away and get the other ones the tweezers can I get the tweezer please this one a little bit bigger than I expected I found another one right there yeah so
look good. I don't think I want something else because it might take away from a really cool stunning design that I just create. But I can't wait to see all this really cool stunning that you're gonna share with us. Good frames. Good design. Good. Cure it for 60 seconds and then we're gonna go back with the precision glue. And before that, I'm gonna adjusting it to make sure they all looks good. And they are ready to be cured under the LED lamps. Because all else is hard for you to adjust and this is the best time for you to adjust it. And now I can get to see it so close to me now. It looks really good though. Good. Great. Stunning though, Mike. You can get so much fun design with all different mix bag. I using both mix bag. You seeing that? It's the mix bag and Mercury mix bag. So if you are the first times playing with crystal placements or if you are the beginners, such a great idea for you to get any mix bag. You can get like so many different items in there. You can get like I believe it come with. I got it for natural stones. It had variety of um, beads, bars, frames, and all little crystal, different colors, and depend on different mix back you pick. And you have dragon scale. It's so stunning and like it's great to do with. And you will never get out of um, design. So then you can do and then you can create from that mix back. That because it's is create ready for you to do so then you can unleash your potential and play with a lot of different cool things on the mix back and I am going to using precision glue thank you so much Foxy Loxy and now I'm gonna using a precision glue and do a little exam check and if it just like feels scratchy right here you can see that and I'm gonna just, just squeeze in. You don't want to do too much to the point that they're gonna flooding your nails look and then all the crystals so then it doesn't look nice anymore, it doesn't attract it. So you wanna just like make sure you check it first. When it's scratchy, then you feel it in right here. And then if you are check all of them already, you key it under the LED lamp for about 60 seconds and this nail will completely done. Opposite background. Great. I'm really happy with the nails today we did. Like see, so you did encapsulating with the clients and then after the clients done with encapsulating, they like, oh, I want crystal, I want some designs on it. So here you go. Get more option to, to um, create for your clients and make them happy. And plus that they're not you know, they don't mind to pay extra to get really stunning designs as well. So let's move on to this one right here. I can do this one a little um, liquid can powders, flowers. Okay, let me get my um, clear, can I get the white one? Maybe I do the pink one. Oh. Um. No, no more. Maybe no I do the pink. I do a light you. pink then. Let me do a light pink. This one is so stunning, everyone. Oh, so cute. Great. You know why it's so dark? Wait, so let me do the 3D designs. Should you, you want to see in a different, you want to see in light pink? I have, I can uh, do my light pink or the nude colors. No. Light pink. Oh. 
This one. I'm gonna do this one, okay? This is chisel at number 29. Let's do some flowers on this one. Monomer? Yeah, I need the monomer, please. Where's that? And I have it right here. I need the piece of papers. I got the monomers right there. Okay. Good day. So, well, I'm going to show you how to do a really simple, like it's not quite for flowers, it's like a petals or whatever. It's so easy though. Okay. Let me move this because we move it away and then we'll put it back in. Uh, the other nails done? My yes. two nails no, right matter. here. Okay, let me test the color before we plane with the 3Ds first. Oh, not bad at all. But I would do a little white one. I'm gonna do some nude colors. Let's see how it turn out. So I'm gonna give you an option of mix two colors together. Uh, Instagram can't see it though. How to do it? Too dark. Uh, hold on. Let me move this because I think the background's got a lot to do with that because I have a lot of things going on in there in my background. Much better now, yeah? Yes, so much better. Well, oh, no. Let me, oh, not this one. Hey, I do like the nude colors now. No. Let me do the nude colors. So at first you want to using the 3D brush tips and you're going to using the tips to kind of guide the pattern first. And then doing a second beat. If you want your flower to be the same uh, the pattern is the same. You're going to have to pick the same side of your bead. You don't want to do too big and too small. At first, in your practice, it might be hard because you're not sure that, you know, is how you can get that. But do give it a couple of time and practice and play with this. you get that perfectly, totally fine. I would do this one looks good and also this one even looks good with the white one too so however you would like it and do three thinner your um, 3d is better it looks more natural softer look I 
I like the looks of the background on that chrome. Make it look so stunning. So if you want to just do one like that, you can. not And then you can put the crystal right here. If you don't want it, just do a little one right in the middle. And it looks like a donut. Uh, so dark like this. You just have to wait too much stuff in the bottom. No, don't move it. It's just probably because it's my. Just so much water here. I have to go. That's why I can do it. Okay. Just give it a little bit smaller right there. This one when alone is really hands on in the class and um, the end of this month. The mastery class, I'm so excited. The one learns it's completely hands on. Yeah, and then now you blend this one out. This is really simple flowers that you can do, like a three petals, really quick, easy. using my brush the tips of my brush to guide that and using a body to really flatten them and thin less you can call it leaf or you can call it petals or looks like more on leaf looks like a cute On this side, these two colors are so cute together. Especially, it's have really nice and a uh, um, background. Strong pigment underneath is really bring it out so nice. Blend them. We did a lot today, everyone. So nice. Shut a great live tutorial. Great. Do you want more? You can add more on. Anything else you want? Oh, maybe one more. Just down there. And then this one looks good. If you're using this brush, you never go wrong with this. It's so easy to control that. Plus the powder is so easy um, to work with. I'm using the liquid retentions of C and D right now. Just for your information.
you want some crystal on this or you are good some beads and crystal Today's Vicky did a really nice like uh, chant for voice and uh, 3D as well. It's really stunning. I did a smaller leaf right there. Yeah, I think I'm good. Put some beads on it. Any good if you don't want to beat you want to leave it alone like that we can't crystal okay what's a glitters color called um blast of colors oh you mean this one? Oh, you mean this one double digits you want this one this one is a blast of color collection Thank you, Leticia. Thank you so much. Hey, Brad, thank you so much for tuning in, darling. All right. So it looks good. Brad, so we're not seeing all, learn all this 3D. I'm so excited on that. Um, nail mastery class is coming. Uh, I will see stuff feelings uh, really like fast. So if you have any questions for that class, don't hesitate to DM us or call us at 206-771-5086. And also this, I'm using this 3D. And also if you have question regarding to, uh, to the products we're using, um, is you can also call us at 206-771-5086. Or if it texts for you, works convenient, you can. And you can email us at info at glissessessionsuch.com and also you can um, uh, DM us on Facebook or Instagram. So you like it like this? You want something? I think I want some beats on it. Oh, okay, that's it. Sassy Cindy, add some beats on it to give it some more dimensional, right? Condensed glue gel. I think I'm gonna do it. some beads. This one is like on the and since I am gonna using some beads, I'm not gonna try to mess up with the whole entire my flowers. And I am going to using just a dot two on the other end and just add some right there. Some right here. I think your beads will stand out really nicely. You can do a whole chain if you want to, okay? I think the chains will make it looks good. Um, I didn't have a chain in front of me, but I will definitely promise doing one for you in next time. And let me apply the no wipe top coat on the top of condensed glue gel just a little bit right where I want to place my beads I think I don't know maybe I should put one right here because I want to put it right in the middle of the flowers this one's you all gonna get to learn hands-on in the class in the end of this month. I'm so excited. We're gonna learn it together, practice together, and achieve it together. Here you go, beats. Come in, and I just want just maybe three beats here. I don't want too many. But also, this is a good, just one right there. And some 
you can do a crystal as well i think crystal will looks good but there are so much going on like the same with my nails you can see this chromes is everything it's just so uh like pigmented if i have the chain right here i'm going to do a chain right down there is tone that one down great let me see how does that why is so just hard to do okay good now i put my hands on it it looks good great here under the LED lamp for 60 seconds and then we'll check if we need to check it anything else and it'll be completely done we did three nails beautiful today is everyone's with the theme and then this is the bonus nails this is stunning it's gonna be hard for you to name this This one, I don't know. They're all my favorite. Which one is your favorite? You mean the chromes? Double digits, uh, dazzle digits is the chromes you mean? Did everything is good today, everyone? Look at that. Beautiful nails. I know you said, who is that? Love all of them. I know, first one. Middle one. All of them. Great. Thank you so much, everyone. Do you have any questions regarding to the class? And Albert, you're gonna learn all these techniques that I share with you, liquid and powders. It's a just a one part of the art that we're doing it. But we doing so many. We're doing from the structures of the nails is um, shaping all the salon style shapes, uh, structures for liquid and powders, and also dipping powders, and crystal placement from basic to advanced. And then it's gonna be a great, a great uh, program trainings and a class on that day. So I can't wait to share with all of you. And our class is the seat is filling up really um, full. So don't hesitate to ask if you have questions, if you would like to be part of our team as well, um, and to share your passion to a lot of other nail technicians. Don't hesitate to just even ask any question regarding to class. And it's only um, training is only once a year. So what we are gonna have all different classes training throughout the years. But if you are local or closer to Ann Arbor, it's such a great opportunity for you to take your business to the next level. So great. So let's go in to show the nails last night. And then I have the winner right here. This is so stunning. I love this one and this is so freaking stunning all right so here is um we got the note from a team pick the emerald dreams who's named this emerald dream the winners from instagram foxy loxy nails file uh files did i okay so the name for this, the team will pick out out of so many different names. And thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in and then like names all of this and watching live video. So the names uh, theme will picked is Emerald Dreams, and the winners is uh, Foxy Loxy Nails Files. So if you are here, congratulations! Congratulations.
Is that you here? Oh, Foxy, let's see now. Okay. Congratulations. That's awesome. Um, da Dazzle Digits. Dazzle Digits. Hold on. The Chromes. Um, I have it on my notes right here. It's one, number 127. But uh, you were seeing it is on in the Chrome section, like uh, Holochromatics. And they have so many different collection in there. And at number 127. And this one is the Blast of Colors. This is so stunning. You get one of this. Oh my goodness. That's it. The clan's like thrill. You can do so many different. I pulled out so many like from Valentine, Springtime, uh, Summertime. You can do so many with these colors. 12 of them for you to choose from. So if you have questions, anything regarding to the products and technicals, always you can email us at info at glitzaccessoryandsuch.com. Also, you can, um, you can call us at 206-771-5086. Yeah, congratulations. We're going to post this later shortly, and then you can able to name this. There's going to be another nails for this theme, but then you can name it completely. Thank you so much, everyone, and I will definitely see you tomorrow. Just for your information, tomorrow is my birthday, so I am going to do a really special live video, like designs for it. If you have some requests, just send it in so I can do it. Otherwise, I'll do some uh, stunning nails tomorrow. Yes, Foxy, I never win anything. You guys rock. I'm so excited. Yes, me so excited, too. We're going to ship it. So please... um. DM us your first and last name and your shipping address that you can receive them because we ship it with, um, just unless you're okay with that, we can ship it with no signature, right? Is it no signature? So then you can receive it if you are not at work or if not at home, I'm sorry. So then you can receive it. So um, congratulations and I will see you tomorrow. Do you like uh, BTS? Uh, CR BTS, you are very welcome. I need this as soon as possible. Yeah, get it because you would have loved all of this for springtime. Do you like BTS? It's a boy band, Korean boy band. BTS, what is a BTS? Though? Korean boy band, BTS. Mm -hmm. Do you like BTS? Is yeah. it what is that BTS though? They are the Maria. Band. Mia, explain it to me. I'm like a little bit behind. <laughs> oh, congratulations, Lisa. Okay, I'm reading your comments right now. Oh, BTS boy band. Oh, right, right, right. K-pop, you know, my kids will know it's I like BTS. I say, what is BTS? I'm so behind. It's okay. That's why I have all of you in my life, right? <laughs> what is that, though? I, where, should, where should I, like, uh, find out that some music from BTS, though? YouTube. Oh, YouTube? Okay. They're the biggest one. Okay, I don't know. It's like K-pop because my kids talk about k pop all the time. I don't know what it is, and I don't know is that... Of course, they're probably trendy because you know what? When I was little, like when I was really little, it's like it's really a Korean culture was really, uh, really impressed a lot of us when I was in maybe middle school. I think we love like um, Korean episodes and all cool things. I learned some like uh, language from that watching movie. So it's stunning. So it's good because maybe I'm getting old so I didn't know BTS what it is. So that's why I have all of you in my life. Thank you so much. <laughs> Sa Sandra, like I said, ah, oh, I know, right? <laughs> Pretty rude now. Like, See, I know they all laugh at me because, like I said, what is that? <laughs> Great, someone will listen to that. Let's see how is how is that. What what about the Korean pop though? And the music's really nice, like a music, like our music, the, the beats is nice and stuff like that. I'm curious because maybe my kids, my kids might know her. They might know. Now I'm going home and say, I learned it from all my uh, nails bestie here. And they tell me about uh, BTS. What is BTS? They're going to do like, oh my God, mom, you don't know.
it's a Korean pop. They're gonna laugh at me. I'm, I'm, I'm for sure that they will. So, I will listen to that. I like. <laughs> yes, I like Korean drama. There's so much fun to watch. Yes, definitely. I will definitely see you, lady, tomorrow. I love you all. Thank you so much for the love and support for the past three, two years. Going to be is a big um, anniversary special promotion coming uh, soon. So, sneak peek. So, thank you so much. And I will see you tomorrow. And Dazzle Digits, if you need help with anything, you can uh, DM us with any information. Thank you so much. Did you just win her um, last, win her uh, giveaway? Yeah, yes, yesterday. Yeah, and and then she's named it as a Y side. Y side. Thank you so much. Nailed it. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, thank you, Vicky. Good night, everyone. <laughs> now I'm going to go listen to BTS. And I will tell you tomorrow when we go live. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Thanks so much, Leticia. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, bitches. First time watching your live video. Welcome in.